Hey, what's up everybody? This is DJ Axis with CGP DJs on a tutorial on my DMX 2.0. I know a lot of people have been uh, looking for guidance on this. I've been on the forums. A lot of people have been requesting a setup video and whatnot. I'll be making a series of videos covering setup uh, to using uh, the Easy Remote app, using the effects generators, and uh, whatever requests I get in. So let's start it off. Let's open up my DMX 2.0. Uh, let's start off by saying let's make sure you have the latest update uh, version of my DMX 2.0. There's two ways I'm doing this. You can either go to AmericanDJ.com and uh, look up my DMX 2.0 and download the latest version. Or there's a real cool um, feature up here. Once you open up the software, you can go to um, the little question mark and click on it. And you can check for the update that way as well. And I'll let you know. Uh, if you're running the latest or if you need to update so let me give you a quick rundown on how I have it set up and how I use it to my advantage here are a couple scenes that I've created uh, I have a couple blackouts being that I use the easy remote app on my iPad and each layer each page requires a blackout that way I'm not scrolling two pages just to get to my blackout scene but again I'll cover that in a later video on the easy remote app uh, these buttons right here will go over are what I have programmed for our stage washing. I use the Elation D LED uh, tri bricks, and these are just your basic, you know, white, orange, and whatnot, like you were fine on your LED controllers. And uh, let me show you a quick demo just by click on it and clicking on them. Uh, you can see it's just like I say, your regular colors that I've programmed, and uh, I have them set up that way. Uh, what's cool about it, as you can see, well, not except for the white, but orange, your greens, your blues, your magentas right here. Uh, what I've done um, is I signed them uh, each color. Inside my DMX is pretty cool. You right click it, and then you can assign a color to the button. So for orange, of course, I did orange and whatnot. Uh, colors are a little off on the camera. Uh, for your greens, you know, you right click, you go to colors and you click green and then you'll have green colors so if you're not using a MIDI controller or MIDI board you know it's easy to find what colors is which and just go ahead and click on it and as you can see here I also have some fade-ins and on my blackouts I have uh, fade outs I really like uh, programming those it just gives it more of an effect to instead of just switching around and you know your on and off switches so you know instead of going from white to orange or to a regular blackout I've designed some fades, so let's do a red fade in. It just gives it more of a dramatic effect instead of just on and off, and then we can black out fade. And in this video, I'll show you exactly how to do that. So let's start off by uh, setting this thing up. We'll go here. We'll start off. That's basically the new page symbol. And we're starting off fresh. You'll start off with the new scene, so nothing's there, everything's blacked out. So, what I like to do is go to our editor, double click on that, and rename that to blackout since everything's blacked out. We will be using that as our blackout button. And then, as you can see, hit your live, boom, you have the blackout button ready. So, let's set it up right here. It's a list of fixtures. It's a very extensive list, and um, if by any chance there's a fixture that you have that is not on here, you can go ahead and contact American DJ support, and they'll be more than happy to create a profile for you. So in this case, we're looking for elation since we're using uh, sorry since we're using uh, DLED bricks. Let me look here. I'm trying to juggle the camera and um, the computer at the same time. It's a little tricky. So we'll look for a DLED. And here we'll go with 36. Now the modes. Make sure you have it on the correct mode. Uh, depending on light fixtures, you'll have different modes and channels. Uh, I like more control of our light fixtures. And... Uh, having these bricks allows us to do that so it offers us a 15 channel mode what that means is I can control each bank individually and each 
LED individually inside the bank. So I always like to use 15 channel mode because I like having all that control. So I've selected my fixture name, uh, profile, and what mode I want it. So I want it in 15 channel. And then basically all you need to change in this area here is the number of fixtures. So in this case we're going to use two. Click on two and then just scroll down. I've re never really messed with anything else so it's always worked for me so I wouldn't recommend messing with it unless you know what you're doing. You hit the patch and it automatically shows up in your universe. What's cool about the software is that it tells you where your uh, address starts on the fixture so this is address one. It gives you the information there as you can see it says address one on the fixture, number of channels, it gives you all the info on it and then if you go to your next one it tells you when the next address starts this is a 15 fixture um, light so we're gonna start our DMX channel on 16 it'll tell you there so you can hover over it'll give you all the information or if you're using dip switches on your light fixtures uh, it's really cool because uh, my DMX includes a dip switch calculator so in this case if we click on our second fixture it'll tell us here that dip switch number Five needs to be up and that'll give us the DMX address of 16 so then what you do is I have a fixture here make sure you're in the correct mode let me zoom in so go menu mode and this varies uh, per fixture so make sure you have the right channel just like on the software it gives you different options to so three channel four channel six channel 12 and 15 and that's what we'll be using so you hit enter and then that's your address the first fixture is always going to be at address number one so make sure you hit your fixture number one and hit enter then you go to your next fi uh, fixture and then address it to um, going the right way here 16 being this is a 15 channel fixture so it's going to vary between uh, what mode you're in, so just make sure you address it correctly. The reason why I address uh, the fixtures individually is because I want to have control of each, each individual fixture, and that will come into play once you start using the effects generator, and you'll see why in a later video. So the next one is going to be 16, and enter. And now your fixtures are ready to program. We'll pan out over here. Okay, so once we have everything set up, we'll go to our editor tab. And I've already pre named this. When you start with the new one, uh, it'll say new scene. And uh, as we saw at the beginning, and then you just make a blackout button. So once you want to create another one, you hit this button right here and you create a new scene. For let's make a red scene. So we're using bricks, we'll name them bricks. You hit enter, you're good to go. So now we're down here. These faders corresponds uh, corresponds to the values on your fixture. So depending on what fixture you're using, they'll have their different values. In order to find what each value does, please refer to your uh, manual on your fixture. Being that this is um, my fixture, I know exactly what controls what. So I know this is the intensity. Nothing's happening because I have an um, added any color here, so you can see this needs to be on because it's the intensity of the light. So once I start adding color to it, this is just it'll control just one bank. You'll see that it'll turn on. Now, if you have say you're doing up lighting and you have 20 of these fixtures, you know a lot of people think that you have to do this individually each um, fixture one by one. Uh, there's a cool shortcut that you can do. Basically, it'll control all the values of the same fixtures. And the way to do that, instead of you know having to do each one individually, you can click on one and hit shift and then scroll down. It'll control all the values to them. So you don't have to go around and do each slider, each one. So we did this one. Let's go down here. And you click on it shift and then click again as you can see it'll control the same values on the other channels click here shift the lights start turning on 
So since uh, it has different bank controls, I need to do it for each bank. Here and here. And now as you can see, my bricks are laid up in red. Okay, so once we're happy with our values and uh, we have everything the way we want it, we're done. Uh, we can create a new scene here. So that, so in that case, we wanted to make a blue scene or whatnot. Uh, the way I showed you in the beginning, I have different setups, just the on and off triggers. It'll be red, and if I wanted to make a red fade, I'll make a red fade with the same values, it's the same red values. The only difference is we'll do it on this one. Let's just act like we created a scene. What we'll do in the editor for uh, to make it fade, this section right here is a fade between scenes button make sure you have that triggered with that X and what you do is you go to the right here and you change the fade time I like to have it you know um, two seconds we'll do three for a more dramatic effect and then now when I go to my live button and hit we'll black it out first so now when we hit it, it'll fade in We're with a more dramatic effect. Black out, fade in. And you can do uh, this to any scene you create. So now if you want to fade out on your blackout, very easy. Just go to your editor. Make sure you have your blackout. Select it. And you do the same thing. Just enable the fade and then change the fade time. And this will vary by user, so kind of mess with it until you get it the way you like. We'll do three as well. So now when we go to our live, we'll fade in our red, and we'll fade out. And there you go. That's how you create scenes and fades inside American DJ's My DMX 2.0. Stay posted. I will be uploading uh, different tutorial videos on how to use this uh, from the effects generator to doing other cool tricks and uh, how to use the Easy Remote app. If you guys have any requests on other videos on tutorials on how to use this thing, let me know in the comments below and I'll be more than glad to uh, make those videos for you guys. Until then, uh, it's DJ Axis from CGP DJs. Thanks for watching.